Coach, uh, you had a message, obviously, for the Huskies earlier, but there are some naysayers out there who say, you know, you're coming from a one double A program, the Pac-10. What do you have to say to those naysayers? Do you have a message for those people who say you might not be right there? Well, you know, there's enough naysayers out there for everybody, you know, so I think regardless of, of who got the job, there's going to be naysayers. But um, the bottom line is, is, is I think I can relate to players. Um, I can motivate them. Uh, my staff will be on the same page. We will work hard, and there will be a common goal and a, and a common theme, and we will all be on that page. And the bottom line is we're working with 18 to 23-year-old young men, and um, they, they, regardless of where you're at, that's the age group, you either have the ability to get up and go to work and out, outwork your opponent, or you don't, and you have the ability to relay that message, or you don't. And it doesn't really matter what level you're at. You either have it in you or you don't, and um, uh, I believe I do. There's a lot of examples, and we can go on and on and on. And I stated earlier, if, I don't know the breakdown, but if you were to compare, quote, coordinators from 1A programs getting head football jobs uh, and see what their true success rate is after a five-year period versus experienced head coaches getting other Division 1A jobs, I think you're going to notice that, that the success rate with the previous coaches with head coaching experience is a big difference in a positive way. If you look at Jim Trestle, obviously, you can look at Houston Nutt, who was at Murray State at one time. Uh, you, you can look at uh, Bobby Johnson, who went from Furman to Vanderbilt. Um, Paul Johnson, who went to Navy from George Southern, now to Georgia Tech, and Mike Price, Dennis Erickson. You can go on and on and on. And I think the percentage of people that have the experience as a head coach and the duties uh, are going to weigh out with their experience. And um, I will tell you this, if you've ever been in a head coach before or you've been ahead of anything, Obviously, after two or three years on the job, you're a little bit better than you were when you started, right? So, so I, I, I think that, that my eight years of head coaching experience uh, will serve uh, very well.